Hey everyone, it's Joy here with another Lawn Fawn video. Today I made a really fun spring card using the Sunburst Backdrop and the Stitched Rainbow Die. Now here are the products. Here's that Stitched Rainbow Die. Super, super cute. And then the Sunburst Backdrop, which is going to make a fantastic background. And then the Reveal Wheel Sentiments. We're going to use a few of those. So I'm going to start by die cutting the sunburst backdrop from white cardstock. I'm going to run that through my die cut machine and then that center pops out, but we are going to be using that. So let's do some ink blending. I'm going to keep this really simple, but I want to highlight the sunburst or the rays of this. So I am coming in and using sunflower ink and I'm going to ink up every other section. And I'm just using some tape because I really do want to keep this darker yellow in between the lines. So I'm just going to move around this background card panel doing this and then I'm going to come in with some butter cards or butter ink excuse me and ink blend in the open areas. So this is super quick and super simple to do. This is just some low tack tape and again I'm just doing every other one and then you can just see how beautiful these little sun rays are. So I'm going to finish with the last section here. And then for the next color is butter. It's a lot lighter than sunflower, so I don't need to tape anything off. So that's why I did the darker color first. And then coming in with the lighter color, you don't even have to tape it off. And so I'm just going to fill in with all of these open white sections with the butter ink, which is a really beautiful yellow. It's kind of super, super yummy. Now that inside circle, I am also going to be ink blending with the sunflower. So I'm going to bring that in and just really ink that up nice and heavy. I actually kind of want that a little bit darker than the sunflower sun rays that we already inked up. So I'm just gonna finish inking that up. And then we've got the rainbow pieces from the Stitched Rainbow. And I'm gonna start with Peachy Keen. I really wanted this to have a soft rainbow feel to it, so I chose other colors, but still kind of going along the traditional rainbow route. So that first color was Peachy Keen, and then the next color is going to be Peach Fuzz, and I'm just cleaning off my little work surface in between inking each background piece, or each rainbow piece, excuse me. So here is the Peach Fuzz, so this would be my orange, and the Peachy Keen was going to be my red, and I just love that Peach Fuzz. It's so, so pretty. The next color will be uh, the yellow, and I'm using Butter for this. And it's nice and soft, super, super pretty. These are so quick to ink up. You could also die cut these from colored cardstock if you wanted, but I really wanted to do some ink blending since the background was ink blended. This is Minty Fresh, so I'm using this for the green. Super pretty. And then the last color will be Mermaid for my blue. I really like to use turquoise colors for my blues for the most part when I'm doing something that's a rainbow. I'm going to ink that up. Then I've got the clouds from the Stitched Rainbow, and I did not add any more ink to that ink brush, and I'm just using that same mermaid ink and just adding a little bit of color to the rainbow, or excuse me, to the clouds. Here is the background piece when you die cut out the larger piece. I'm going to adhere all of those little rainbow pieces to that background white piece. I just added some uh, tape runner to the background so I can just line everything up. You could also use some liquid glue to each one of the pieces and put it down that way. I just have, have some reverse tweezers, which makes it super simple to put these in place. And I'm just gonna push them up to the previous piece of rainbow. I don't want any gaps between the pieces, so I'm just gonna line those up. And then again, just going in that rainbow order. And this little rainbow turned out so pretty and so, so sweet. Okay, the last piece is gonna go in. Now for the background, I decided I wanted to add some sparkle to this card. So I brought in some liquid stardust and I've decided I've just, I'm going to paint on the stitched lines. So that sunburst backdrop has these little stitched areas going all the way around. And that's what I'm going to highlight with the liquid stardust. I'm just using a very fine, small paintbrush. I just squeezed it out onto my glass work surface and I'm just going to run it across those 
little stitched lines. And this is just gonna add a little extra something, a little pop of glitter and shine, which is a lot of fun. I'm gonna put that aside to dry and I'm just gonna outline the clouds because I really wanted to have more. Now, at this point, I wasn't gonna add anything to the rainbow, but I actually decided a little bit later to add more to the rainbow because, I don't know, this liquid stardust is just so absolutely beautiful. So again, I'm just doing it to around the whole edge of that cloud. You could do the whole cloud and that'd be really pretty too. Okay, so in the Misty, I have the whole background. I wanna stamp the sentiment that says amazing. This is from the Reveal Will Sentiments. Now I also added some more sentiments a little bit later because when it was done, I just felt like it needed more. But I'm using Jet Black Ink and I'm just gonna stamp that in the curve of the rainbow, which I thought was really perfect. The other part of the sentiment, which says, hope your day is, is also from the Reveal Wheel Sentiments. I'm stamping that onto some white cardstock with black ink, lining that up with my Misty, and then I'll just trim that out with my paper trimmer. I'm going to adhere this centerpiece in the background, and then I do want my rainbow to be popped up with foam tape, so I want it to have some dimension, and I'm going to line that up isn't that so, so cute with the sun right behind it? And that's how the clouds are gonna go. And I added some foam tape behind the clouds. I actually had this card kind of put together and then I thought, you know what, I need to add more sentiment. So I just gently pulled up the cloud pieces and I was able to go ahead and stamp more of those sentiments in there. Now the hope your day is sentiment will also be popped up with foam tape. I love dimension on my sentiments. So I'm just gonna add a little piece to that and I'm gonna line that up right above that rainbow. And this is where I was thinking, this needs to have some more sentiments because it's a great little circle and those reveal wheel sentiments that are already like a half circle that are already shaped like that is perfect for something like this. So I put it back in my Misty and I'm gonna add fabulous and super. So the whole sentiment, excuse my head's in the way, I had to make sure it was lined up good, says hope your day is amazing, fabulous, super, which I thought was really, really cute. So I'm gonna remove that one and bring in the super. Again, I apologize for putting my head in the way. I just had to make sure it was lined up. Close the lid to my Misty and then ink that up. Now I'm going to add some liquid stardust to the rainbow pieces. Again, on the little stitched lines right in the center of the rainbow. And I'm so glad I did this because this just added more interest to this whole background. And of course that liquid stardust is beautiful. Then I'm gonna add my rainbow, or excuse me, my cloud pieces. And this is adhered to a A2 size white card base. And this card is finished, so super simple, but look at that glitter and shine. And what a fun little rainbow die, and what a fun backdrop die. Super, super cute. I wanna thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project, and I hope that you feel inspired. Have a wonderful day, bye.